Volvo Trucks has introduced a new drivetrain package called the XE13. It stands for Exceptional Efficiency. It consists of Volvo's extremely popular iShift automated manual transmission, mated to a Volvo D13 engine with an impressive 1,750 pounds-feet of torque. Behind that is an extremely tall 2.64 to 1 rear axle ratio, tied all together with some specially designed software. The whole package is designed to cruise the interstate highway system at just 1,150 RPM at 65 miles per hour. This improves fuel efficiency. This video will review the iShift transmission features. You'll also see what it's like to drive the XE package and hear some operating tips for it. iShift is a 12-speed automated manual transmission designed and built by Volvo. The first thing you will notice is that iShift has an extremely intelligent shift strategy. From startup, iShift skips shifts as much as possible and only uses the gears it needs. Upshift RPM depends on how many steps are to be taken. Here, the driver wants to make as little noise as possible as he passes by other drivers, who may be resting. I-shift will allow upshifts at engine speeds as low as 1,000 RPM when driven gently. A welcome feature of the I-shift is that it is forgiving if the driver forgets and shuts down the engine while in gear. The reason is we let the transmission control the engine. The driver is really shutting off the I-shift. If the I-shift sees the transmission is still in gear, it will first shift itself to neutral. Then, I-shift will shut down the engine. In this way, problems when restarting are avoided. You can see by the N in the gauge cluster that the transmission is in neutral, even with the gear lever in drive. I-shift is intelligent in other ways. I-shift will not let you select a gear without your foot on the brake. The new XE package is what really sets the iShift apart from other drivetrain combinations. It isn't until you approach top speed that you sense any difference at all between the XE package and previous iShift transmissions. In fact, under most conditions, the XE won't upshift into 12th gear until 62 miles per hour. This particular truck has a cruise set speed limit of 65 miles per hour. At that speed, the engine only turns 1150 RPM. XE package is designed to handle most hills in 12th gear. Occasionally, and more often than many trucks, it will dip down into 11th gear. This is expected, but the downshift is automatic. Just let I shift shift when it wants. In congested areas where speed limits are lower, you may find the need to run extended periods in 11th gear. You may find it more comfortable to use the thumb buttons to select and hold 11th gear for extended periods at speeds up to 55 to 60 miles per hour range. When you hit a mountain grade, XE will select the appropriate gear, settle back into its 1,750 pounds-feet of torque, and pull with the best of them. Although iShift has a grade sensor that lets it see the grade ahead, sometimes the driver may want to hold 12th gear if, in his judgment, the grade will be ending shortly. He can do this just by holding in the upshift button. We're at the mandatory truck pull-off at the summit of Black Mountain on I-40 in Western North Carolina. On a grade like this, you need an excellent engine brake, and Volvo's got it. Here's how to go down a mountain like this with Volvo's IVEB engine brake. Put the engine brake stock on the right-hand side of the steering column into the A position. Then accelerate until you reach your target descent speed, in this case, 35 miles per hour. When you reach 35, press in the plus button on the end of the control stock. Now you are in brake cruise. The IVEB engine brake will hold this speed within limits regardless of whether the grade gets steeper or shallower. If you need more retardation, you can pull it down to 3. Or if you need maximum retardation, 
pull the stock all the way down to the B position for maximum engine braking. This will tell I-Shift to downshift to the maximum extent possible. Two things to remember about the XE package. One is, 11th gear is like the normal top gear in many trucks. It's direct drive. The transmission can run 11th gear at full torque indefinitely with no harm. The second is, this truck is designed to run at 1150 RPM all day long. Fuel is expensive. The lower engine RPM reduces friction. And that saves you fuel, about 3% over standard overdrive configurations. Every mile that you drive, putting $2,000 per year or more toward your bottom line.